where did this all start? It, it really was the brainchild of a number of individuals. We've been talking about doing this for 50 years, trying to create a basketball arena. And so the vision for this really came from those industry partners, those academic partners, and those athletic supporters and really said, you know, we want to do something different, something special. And it was really the folks in the forest products industry, it was around the time that mass timber was really getting exciting. And they said, you know, we actually can do this. We can, we can build something that's different. We can build it with wood. It doesn't have to be a traditional concrete metal building. So let's be bold and let's try something exciting. Let's, let's build with wood. Let's build something beautiful. First thing we heard is like, hey, it's been years in the planning and we have yet to actually build an arena. And so they were really clear on this. They needed to build something special. And they brought this idea of like mass timber. And what if we could really make it about Idaho? And what if it could be really unique to us? And it was the first time I'd heard of an athletic department speaking with the College of Natural Resources about these opportunities to kind of create this economic generator for the region. And that in itself was a real intriguing thing, coupled with the desire to have this arena that, that the University of Athletics and Administration wanted. It was just, it was a real exciting pairing. This building is really a monument to wood. It's really a stunning demonstration of what we can do with architecture, what we can do with engineering, what we can do in forest management to really build buildings that teach, but also that are really fun to be in and really just make you happy when you're inside of them. And so I find that people get excited and really react to that idea that it's something different than just concrete and steel, that we're doing something different. You know, those are materials that are typically used in these kinds of facilities and they just don't have that same warmth. There's nothing imposing about it. It's, it's welcoming and inviting. And again, that's kind of was what the university wanted to do. Trees are an outstanding building material. You know, they absorb carbon dioxide and they convert that into carbon. And about 50% of the weight of a tree is carbon. So when we convert it into a lumber, which can be used into a mass timber product like Lulam, we're storing that carbon for the life of the building, for the life of that product. We're creating healthy forests, we're replanting, we are improving the condition, we're reducing wildfire risk, all other parts of the carbon story and all parts of the carbon equation. But I think our ability to store carbon in these building materials long term is just a huge opportunity and it's a win for all of us. The most remarkable thing about this project really were just all the partners that came together. Yeah, there were the athletic donors, the students really kicked in a big part of this, but man, the way the industry leaned in on this thing and the way that they allowed us to really keep this an Idaho project, you know, I'd love to say, you know, we harvested wood off the University of Idaho school forests and surrounding Idaho lands, public and private. We did that with Idaho loggers and truckers. We transported those logs to Idaho companies. We manufactured those and put them into glue lamb beams with Idaho companies. So that's what I'm really most proud about is that this is truly an Idaho project for the University of Idaho. Every successful project really is the result of a partnership. And in this case, the Forest Service was able to provide some initial funding, seed funding, to support the design and the proof of concept work that the University of Idaho did. And then the amount of work that they did in bringing industry together, suppliers from the state of Idaho, engineering and architecture. You know, the supply chain for, um, for buildings is, is long. We tend to always think about just the materials that go into it, the wood, but really the supply chain starts at the very beginning, the design, the engineering, all of the work and partnerships and relationships that the University of Idaho has, has worked through. And we know that those partnerships are important. We know that uh, they create local jobs. We know that we've got a, a more sustainable building material than some of the alternates. And I think that kind of opportunity has is, is really been uh, outstanding. And we're just glad that the Forest Service was able to uh, put some catalytic funds in to really try to jumpstart the process, to accelerate the process as they move forward. And those are the kinds of projects that we are trying to pick nationally. 
For the past uh, two years, we've been working with the College of Natural Resources on the procurement of all the mass timber uh, through multiple donor streams to get it here. We had to move two million board feet of timber into different mills, three different mills. And it took about 400 truckloads to produce the two million feet. So it's been just a just an amazing process and a project that uh, I think for you know, my 15 year career with Hoffman, this, this is the pinnacle. It was the first time for us uh, knowing exactly what they were gonna use the lumber for, you know, and what the project was for. So it was pretty neat. Mass Timber, number one, has just a great feel. When you go into that space, into that arena, it provides an intimate feel, but a grand feel at the same time. And I think people don't realize that you can go long span with wood. I mean, it's a 150 foot span across the main court, utilizing king post trusses. And those are viable structural elements that work well for both structure and for architectural fire code related conditions. When they came to us with the initial drawings, it was a beautiful project, but we were unable to produce the beams as they were drawn. They were drawn initially as solid members, as a continuous piece, which are way too long for us to produce in our manufacturing facility. So we had to design with the engineers and break the beams up, and they did special connections to allow us to be able to produce the beams. If we weren't able to produce the beams, they would have had to outsource the beams from another manufacturer, potentially out of the country, to be, to be produced due to the size and structure. The effort that the field crews and Hoffman did to fabricate and form the concrete walls, to verify all the embeds, to ensure that fabrication was going to be the best that it can be. You know, you get one real good chance to put those long span elements in and make them look great, and they did a good job. And that interplay of those materials was key to the success of what it is now. It's an amazing building, and quite frankly, we haven't worked on a project like this, which I think is what created a lot of the challenges with it. To see it actually erected and someday in use is, is amazing. We're very excited about it. In the future for Mass Timber, I think it's really just beginning, in my opinion. This was intentionally a catalyst project for Mass Timber, and I think being able to put together a long span, unique structure, not just a box, this really starts to show what mass timber can really do. You know, this is a, this project's a really important project to me and I'm just really proud when I, when I come in here. It's, it's exciting to see it. It's the warmth of the wood, it's the feel. It's a, it's a wow moment for, for people and that's really rewarding. The space feels personal, but yet just so open and big, kind of natural, like you're in the woods or something watching. It's just a, a phenomenal space. It's, it's just an amazing facility. I think it's just a real testament to what can be done with wood. Boise Cascade's really proud to be part of this, along with uh, peers on our industry, to be part of this amazing project. I think people are gonna be very blown away by the space. I think it's probably cooler than everybody's expecting. It is a surreal feeling. I mean, I was just in there 30 seconds ago and does not feel like this is at the University of Idaho. It means a lot to be the first team to play in the new ICC arena. For us to finally be able to be the team that gets to be in there, it's, it's quite awesome. In my mind, the arena most certainly represents a story around sustainability, but I think there's work to be done. I think we have to spend a lot more time and we will be spending more time telling that story because it's not enough for me to believe it. It's not enough for me to just put a sign on the building and say that this was built using you know, sustainable products. It's really an ongoing educational opportunity. And so we'll have that opportunity with thousands of people going through this arena on an annual basis. They're gonna be running their hands across that cedar wood. They're gonna be touching those beams. Every time they do that, they're gonna be wondering about where did that wood come from? And so, it's really a challenge for us to, to tell that story in this arena over and over and over again to all those individuals so they understand the value of building with wood and how we do that in a sustainable manner.